Hey everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. We are presenting here the solutions for J Advanced 2018 Paper 1. Uh, in this video, I am going to present a question uh, from the topic differential equation as in the paper. Let's have a look at the problem. Let f0 to close at 0 to infinity to r be a continuous function such that fx equal to 1 minus 2x plus integral sine 0 to x e is for x minus t ft dt. Here x and t both are involved inside the integral sign. Okay, for all x belongs to close 0 to infinity. Then which of the following statements is are true? More than one option can be true. Option A says the curve y equal to fx passes through 1 comma 2 y equal to option B y equal to fx passes through 2 comma minus 1. We need to first get the function fx properly. Then we'll identify which option would be correct. Option C, the area of the reason consisting, consisting of points x comma y where x is from 0 to 1 close interval y is real number and y is more than equal to fx less than equal to 1 minus x square is pi minus 2 by 4 in the option D same area is given as pi minus 1 by 4. So let's see uh, how can you find first fx then we'll uh, see which option is r correct. So in order to get fx we need to see the given relation properly. Um, first of all, I would like to take e raised power x minus uh, e raised power x uh, outside this integral sign so that we can uh, find the differentiation of this uh, differential under integral sign using Newton Leibniz rule in easier manner. So we can because the integration is with respect to t, so we can take e raised power x outside the integral sign and we can then write what. Uh, fx is equal to 1 minus 2x plus e raised to the power x into 0 to x e raised power minus t ft dt right now if we differentiate it we will get f dash x is equal to minus 2 plus e raised to the power x is differentiation of I mean e raised power x as it is and differentiation of this integral sign Newton using Newton Leibniz rule Newton Leibniz rule we'll, we can uh, write the definition of this uh, here we are actually applying product rule product of two functions of x first as it is second uh, integration uh, differential will be e raised power minus x fx isn't it and the second part would be again e raised to the power x square differential is e raised power x and the second function as it is 0 to x e raised power minus t ft dt yeah so if we simplify it further we can write f dash x is equal to minus 2 plus fx e raised power x into e raised power minus x is 1 plus the last term is e raised power x into same as what is what is given in the equation 1 so from equation 1 we can write it as fx minus 1 minus 2x isn't it from 1 from one right so this thing is written as this from one so from here we can write f dash x is equal to f dash x minus 2fx we should write minus 2fx okay yeah is equal to finally we are getting uh, 2x minus 3 so obviously this is a linear differential equation so we need to check integrating factor here is e raised power minus 2x then the solution would be solution to this linear differential equation would be fx into e raised power minus 2x that is integrating factor then we should integrate 2x minus 3 into the integrating factor e raised power minus 2x dx so from here you'll get yeah so taking it in uh, the next space fx into 2x minus 3 okay so fx we have we are having fx into e raised power minus 2x is equal to integral sign 2x minus 3 e raised power minus 2x dx so using the integration by parts formula We'll, keep, we'll take the first function to, as 2x minus 3 so as it is and integration of the second function e raised power minus 2x by minus 2 
uh, minus uh, integral sign derivative of 2x minus 3 is 2 integration of e raised power minus 2x e raised power minus 2x by minus 2 so minus 2 dx then if you simplify it further uh, we'll get 2x minus 2x plus 3 by 2 e raised power minus 2x plus integral of e raised power minus 2x as e raised power minus 2x by minus 2 plus c the constant of integration and this is equal to now what if you further i mean multiply the whole equation entire equation by e raised power 2x you'll get here as minus x plus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus c into e raised power 2x and as uh, yeah it is finally we can say 1 minus x plus c into e raised power 2x but uh, going to the question if you find here put here x equal to 0 you will get f0 as uh, integration 0 to 0 is 0 so uh, f0 as 1 so using this fact that f0 is 1 if you use it putting x equal to 0 here you will get f0 as 1 so 1 minus 0 plus c so c should be 0 only so from here we got fx finally as 1 minus x coming to the option a and b so fx we got as 1 minus x by putting x equal to 1 you will get uh, fx as uh, 0 but here it is given 2 it is not correct by putting x equal to 2 you will get fx as minus 1 so at it is passing through 2 comma minus 1 is correct option b is correct option a is wrong the area of the reason now we'll check area so fx okay so we need to find for the option c or d c or d what we need to check uh, y more than or equal to fx less than or equal to under root of 1 minus x square so and x x is from 0 to 1 x is taken from 0 to 1 yeah you can see in the question x is taken from 0 to 1 right okay so the second part is actually uh, semicircle above x axis but we need to check only x is from 0 to 1 so semicircle 0 to 1 only and this this line y is equal to x minus 1 it is like this is passing through the two corners so here we need to check y is more than right y is more than okay i draw it again uh, and this is the line so this is a semicircle from 0 to 1 we have to take we have to take and y is equal to 1 minus x is passing through the point 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 so y is more than fx y is more than 1 minus x out above this line and inside the quarter circle so area obviously here would be quarter circle means 1 by 4 into pi r square radius is 1 given minus area of the triangle half into base into height so finally we will get it as pi minus 2 by 4 square units so the option pi minus 2 by 4 is given in option c option c is correct d is not correct i hope you understood this solution you uh, like this video and uh, b and c finally are correct the solution is typed also everything whatever i have explained it here uh, yeah so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video thank you